So how much physical silver is enough? <laughs> okay, well, if you give me a few moments, I'm going to give you my answer. Also, if you like what you see and you want to support my channel, then the best and easiest way you can do that is by simply smashing that like button. By doing so, you show YouTube that you enjoy the content that I produce. So YouTube puts my video where more people can see it. It's a small task for you, but it means so much to my channel. And if you want to see more videos like this one, simply subscribe, ring that bell, and you'll be notified as soon as I put out another video. Thank you. Hi everyone, Silver Joker here. Okay, so I know you've seen this question asked a lot in the silver stocking community uh, different condiment providers have posed this question and answered this question um, it really is a hard question to answer and it's a hard question to answer for a few reasons but mainly it's because it's a personal question and it's really unique to each individual stacker first everybody's got a different reason for stacking everybody's got a different idea of what they expect their silver stack to do for them in the future. And secondly, not everybody's gonna use their stack at the same time. Some people are stacking for their retirement. Some people are stacking for other reasons. Those things have to be taken into consideration when you're answering this question as well. All right, so in order to go any further with answering this question, there's a few things that I have to assume. Let's just say that you're, re you're stacking for your retirement in 20 years or whenever you decide you're gonna retire. And let's assume that you're gonna start stacking your first ounces today. And also let's assume that you have other retirement products like a 401k. So physical silver is gonna be just a part of your overall financial goals in the future. So how much is enough? <laughs> so this is how I look at it. When I retire, things like paying bills, <laughs> having our health and medical needs met, maintenance on the house and our automobiles, those kind of things are what my traditional retirement is going to be for, my 401k and some of the other retirement products that I have. My stack, along with a few other things, is going to be how we plan to enjoy our retirement. In other words, things like vacation and, and travel, family gatherings that we want to sponsor and pay for, you know, little indulgences that we had to sacrifice in order to get to this point or some of the things we want to take advantage of with our silver in the future. All right, so how many ounces is that gonna take? Okay, now stick with me. I'm gonna be throwing some numbers at you here pretty soon that I think are gonna be pretty impressive. All right, so let's talk numbers now, <laughs> all right? So let's just say, for example, that you determine that to do what the things that you wanna do with your physical bullion in the future, it'll take you 5,000 ounces. But let's say in 20 years, that's what you want to have. So 5,000 divided by 20 gives us 250 ounces per year. All right. So let's see how much, how many ounces we have to stack if we break that down weekly. So we take our 250 ounces, divide by 52 weeks, and that gives us 4.8 ounces we'll call that five ounces so what does that do for us what does that give us in the future okay so if we just use my conservative number of 18 dollars an ounce that you can get for your silver in the future in other words you take your silver to a bullion dealer in the future he's going to give you 18 dollars per ounce now of course it's going to be more than that of course it is we'll take our five thousand ounces multiply by $18 an ounce, that's gonna give us $90,000. I want you to keep in mind that this is supplemental. This is extra. So by you putting away five ounces a week for 20 years, now of course, tweak it if you have to. Maybe you need to modify that down to four ounces or three ounces. But if you maintain that average five ounces a week, that's going to give you 5,000 ounces in 20 years. 
Now, I don't know your financial situation, so I could be way off the mark here, but five ounces a week seems doable. Look, <laughs> you're going to pay a premium for just about everything you buy. But ask yourself this, how many of those things that you buy, you're still going to have years from now and that have retained a lot of its value? So like I said, this is going to be different from everybody's point of view. You're going to have your own unique desires for what you want in the future. Set your goals based on your needs and your desires. You create a budget based on your honest self-appraisal and modify that budget based on present, your present financial challenges. You will absolutely benefit in the future. So the question is, how much physical silver is enough? When you reached your goals, when you reached the goals that you set for yourself and silver is doing for you what you stacked it for, then I guess you have enough silver. That's how I look at it. And keep in mind, this is simply something to consider. I can't give you financial advice because I don't have the expertise or the qualification to do that. In my last video, I got a lot of people telling me that I didn't take into consideration in my calculations, spot price and premiums and how things change. And that wasn't the purpose of that video. The point was to give you an idea of what silver is capable of doing. In spite of all this rhetoric about silver making you rich, that silver is going to be a thousand dollars a month from now or ten thousand dollars in the future. If you could just push a lot of that stuff to the side, and I'm not saying that that's not true and that's not possible, but you don't need that to be true or possible for silver to be a benefit for you. Silver is made to do exactly what it's doing. It's a hedge against inflation. It's a very affordable way to protect your financial health going forward. And if you just look at silver that way, you will be a lot more satisfied with silver's movement than if you thought silver should be doing more than what it's designed to do. Anyway, that's my take on it. I've already talked too much. Tell me what you think. Put it in the comments of this video. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.